friends how you guys doing my um oily bonder is just about dry whoops i left a little glitter on that finger that's okay that finger doesn't mind if you're gonna leave anything behind it should be glitter all right you guys we are using pave the way so this was conference set wasn't it yeah it was a conference set last year maybe probably <laughs> I can't remember for sure but I think probably um oh this is sheer than I expected I feel like I've been saying that a lot so my plan is whoop Do some full finger because I feel like I haven't done a ton of that. And I'm going to, whoops, stuck to me if I remember to. <gasps> Aren't those pretty? Boy, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let's see. Let's nip the little teeny edge there. Those are real pretty. Okay, I'm glad I decided to go full finger. If I can remember from now on, I would like to use the small end on my pinky and the bigger end on my pointer because those are both very, very perfect fits to those nails. Now look at that, there's even more room. So if you have a longer nail, you'll be okay. You'll be okay, you guys. You'll be okay. Willow used to say that when she's little all the time. It's okay, Mama. When she hold my hand, she, um, oh my gosh, you guys, until she was like 14 slept with us and then one day she was just like done oh those are lovely anyway um when she was like three or four she was never one you know anxiety wise she wouldn't just hop out of bed in the morning if I was not awake and up and going she would just sit by me and she'd read one of her books have full discussion with her stuffed animals, you know, play with her ponies, whatever. Anyway, I would say, oh, buddy, can I have just a little bit longer? Mama's not ready to be up yet. Ooh, I don't miss those days of like five in the morning, you guys. And she pat my hand. It's okay, Mama. Oh, you guys. Why can't they just be their little peanut selves forever and that's not to say I don't love this 16 year old her because she's got such a great fun personality and we laugh our faces off all the time but you know those little toddlers oh Remember when we had little good toddlers? <laughs> and I'm sure some of you maybe still do. Anybody got toddlers? Well, Bethany kind of does. Hers are, her kids are pretty little still. So I just live vicariously through her posts and funny stuff. There. Oh my gosh, you guys, those are really nice really nice this look at this finger this is my arthritis finger that'll get like where I can't bend it if I do the wrong thing every few months I end up locking it up because I know things I shouldn't do and I do them anyway and look it's all it's a poor crooked finger that makes me feel aged just let me say that you guys I'm really a little bit mind blown with these right now 
Like, I know I'm being hokey pokey slow, but it's because I'm just looking at them like a lot in awe of them. Okay, and then look, there's a surprise under here. And this is from the, like, awareness overlay. It's just a single finger of hearts. And I'm going to put it over this guy. Surprise! There was surprise hearts under there, you guys. Oh, I was watching one of my videos back the other day. And you can tell when I'm too close to my phone. It gets a little breathy. Well, look, there's a little glitter left behind there, too. And I was laughing because it's like a, it's like you guys called the naughty phone operator. Oh gosh, I am, I am a lot more in like with this than I thought I was going to be. Let me just say that right now. Did I say what pride set we're on? Seven. Pride set seven. And this one is called, you guys, Paved with Love. Okay? So, paved because paved the way. Mm-hmm. Oh, Stacy. You think up brilliant little names, don't you? It's my favorite part, you guys. That is one thing when I'm designing sets with Christina, she'll just design full sets and post them for me. Like we have a group that's literally just us in it. Um, and she'll post her like something she's made be like, I need a name and a quote. <laughs> Two seconds later, I have them both for her because it's like my favorite things. I love to give stuff cheesy little names. Sometimes I love to give them very punny quotes because that's how I roll. But sometimes I love to give them like, you know, very deep quotes. It just depends on my mood. You're gonna get humor or you're gonna get some deep thought. Most of the time you get humor from me though. Oh, wow. Okay. Like, I see you paved the way. Alright, you guys. So, this set is pretty readily available in these stash groups. I see it quite often. Like, like, really quite often. And it's because their um, conference was virtual, of course. And... Um, so when you signed up, you know, digitally and got your swag bag, I think you got three sets of this. Well, think about how many stylists there are. And if they're all getting, you know, three sets of this, that's, that's a lot. You're putting a lot of this into the, into the environment. And I think, like, when I first saw it, I was like, hmm, you know. That's good, but I think now on my fingers, I like it mucho better. But this is one where I sent Shannon a message and was like, Girl, it's rare for me to ask for anything, and it is for the most part. I can take care of getting myself anything I need. I said, please save me a conference set. She's like, you got it. You know, when you do, when you host a party for her, like, well, I think most stylists do that. They will give you a free set. Like, yes, you get your party sets. Also, I will say probably not if you're just doing like an affiliate link, but if you do an actual host a party. And so when I, when Marce and I do like spring and fall big ruckuses, you know, and the ruckus is really, it's just, I hate to say it's just a party because it's really not because we give tons of stuff away and we make huge 
prize bins, bags, whatever. So it's a little bit beyond saying it's just a party. But anyway, um, she's like, this is the worst part because you two. <laughs> a, Marcy has, she knows exactly what she likes. So she has like more limited choices of what she can send her, you know. Me, I'm easier to to send sets to cuz I'm not very picky. Like basically here's what I don't want. I don't want just the claws. World's world's worst set. Um but I don't really have any colors I don't like or styles really. Oh, I don't like sports sets. That's the other thing I don't like. But Marcy has lots of colors she doesn't like. So it's always harder to find her stuff. But this one, I knew right away I wanted it. But I didn't think I was going to like it this much, you guys. Now, I'll be interested to see if I think I need to look in D-Stash for one. We'll see. At least they're easy to come by. Well, that went on beautifully, didn't it? You know what I think I'm happiest about, you guys, and kind of what I was worried most about, is that I didn't, like, I didn't know how much coverage you were going to get out of those colors. But I mean, I mean, and part of that is, like, smaller nail beds, my nails, even though they're longish right now, you know, they're not very big, so that helps. You get a lot of the art on there. Like, um, nail friend Amy Schultz, she has gorgeous long nails, and I think they probably take most of a strip. I'd have to ask her to be sure, but I feel like they probably do just because they're gorgeous and long. I don't have that problem yet, you guys. I still can just get away with like one strip. We'll do two nails for the most part. I thought there was something here I wanted to trim. There we go. Gosh, I really, you guys, I really like these way more than I thought. I'm kind of in, in wowed of them right now. Now, these have different patterns on them, but it's okay. They're just going to have to live because it still takes me two thumbs. It's just back to life. So, I'm going to give it a little... Oh, I'm going to lose that aqua color. Give it a trim across there so it'll fit my squared up nail beds that I have. Real, real good. I kind of like it when I save stuff. Like, say I'm just saving it because I know I want to use it for pride. Or I save it because I know I want to use it, you know, during a holiday or a season even. Like, say fall or spring or summer or whatever. Because then I use it and I'm like, what? <laughs> Nobody told me it was this good. <laughs> like, when I finally break it out, I'm like, what? This is so good, you guys. I mean, you guys. Plus, you know. I mean, look at that. I guess I don't know how much the sparkle's showing for you. But it is very, very sparkly. Okay. Again, we're trimming the base. Just a little to square it up. I love this set. You shut up right now. I love this set. I didn't know I loved this set. Not this much. Not as much as I love it.
I should have done that the other way where I started over here. So I didn't lose that bit of color, but that's okay. It's okay. You know if you give this a little good stiff smushing, you can kind of, you know, manipulate things around. Like if you didn't quite get it to the corner or the base of something. Marie and I were talking tonight, you know, friend Marie, and she's like, I think it's good that some of the sexy do are just kind of, you know, easy one set thing and I feel like with the pride sets you know short of the first one we did I have done some you know kind of easier ones if people wanna just do a gentle nod instead of punching out 70 rainbow hearts hopefully Hopefully I have. You guys know for the longest time I tried really hard not to use sets that you guys that I didn't know you couldn't readily get. But I'm over that now. Because I'd never get to use my old sets if I did that. And at the rate Color Street puts out limited time stuff. Shit. You'd, you like, yeah. I wouldn't have anything available to use. Today was flip-flop day, apparently. Just know, let, let me say for the record, if there isn't snow on the ground, it's flip-flop day for me. <laughs> oh, Lord. I did find it funny, though, that on their picture they posted on their page on Facebook... They were like, celebrate flip-flop day with this limited set. And and the girl that had it on and on her petty picture, she was wearing sandals, not flip-flops. <laughs> I laughed and a couple people pointed it out, but it was so funny. Happy National Flip-Flop Day. Here's a picture of me and my sandals. Oh, I love it. Oh, that, this, oh, that has my whole heart, you guys. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. This is really a pretty one. Love the little heart overlay. You only get one finger, you know. So two figures of those. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, Melissa Huntsman, if I made you yawn. She said my yawns were contagious. Well, you know what they say? That you only catch somebody's yawn. Like, if you like them. Like, if you're friends or family or whatever. You know, like, their yawns are only contagious if you, if you actually like the person. So, that means Melissa and I are friends now. Because we yawn together. man alive with these pinkies you guys you don't understand I'm gonna be looking at them we brought Sona into her dad's into the city today oh my god you guys and like I mean okay and I don't say this to try to rub it in anybody's face because I know that having summers off is not what everybody gets. Oh, excuse me. But I forget that it's I'm not I'm not mixing my northern lights, you guys. I just want to use it as a good top coat that I know won't shrink it. Won't shrink anything. 
I know not everybody gets their summers off, but here's the problem in the summers. I forgot it was Friday. Like, because Friday doesn't mean as much to you if you don't get to look forward to having them off. You know what I mean? So, what that means for me, being I live, you know, like an hour out of the Minneapolis-St. Paul proper, is that... Starting at 2 o'clock <laughs> on Fridays, traffic coming out my way is crazy because everybody's going up north to their cabins. And that can be, you know, anywhere from 2 to like 6 hours north is what they're doing. And forgetting that makes for a not enjoyable drive. So we dropped Sona off. And when we picked her up, uh, the girls had stopped at a little, well, not little, a really big Asian market um, to pick up goodies. And so today when we were getting ready, I was in my bedroom getting dressed and um, Willow comes in and she goes, it's just me. And I said, well, I don't care if Sona comes in. She just might not want to see me getting dressed. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not like you just brought in 20 random guys or something. Sorry, I had to pick those off so they don't end up building up more on my brush. Um, and so she's like, do you think maybe... Today I could go back to that Asian market after we drop Sona off. I want to get, you know, more than just like candies and junk type stuff. And I said, yes, I was going to ask you because that's not one, you know, that we would frequent because it is a trip into the city. Um, and she's like, oh, okay, thank you. And then she goes, and thank you for everything this week. I was like, oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, good girl. <laughs> but it was nice. So we dropped Sona off and chatted with her dad a bit. And they were going, they know some, he knows some people in the cities too. So they were going out to dinner with somebody tonight. And then they fly out tomorrow morning. So that'll be nice for them. And she bought me these, I gotta show you guys. She bought me these marshmallows. I love marshmallows, like weird, not weird, but you know, more than just a plain marshmallow. I of course can't read this to you. And it shows a big drop of, of stuff in there, but it's not, it's the little teeniest drop. But they're blueberry. Like, that's not a common flavor, you guys. And that's why she got them for me. And they're a little marshmallow with a little blueberry bit in it. And they're delicious. So, if you see them, grab them. Because they're delicious. There was oh, a million... A million flavors, she said, but she knew I'd like blueberry best, so she just knows I like a marshmallow. All right, there it is, Prive 7. We're paved with love, you guys. These are stunning. Like, when I picked them out, I was like, these will be good. I didn't say to myself, these will be amazing. Because they are actually amazing. Can you see the sparkle a little bit? They're really good. Alright guys. Ooh, I'm going to tack on the end of this. A random video. You're going to crack up. It's shrimp. Planning to take over the whole world. Have a good one. You guys... Bob's laid out in his glory. Oh, come on, fish. Look at him. Best scum sucker. Okay. There's shrimp. Oh, that fish can't help but be in everything. Okay, can you see that baby shrimp on the top leaf? 
Oh yeah, there we go. It's so hard to focus when everybody wants to be in the picture. No, closer is better. Oh my god. Yeah, there he is. A baby shrimp and a regular. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Why are they so cute? They're so funny. And there's so many, and they hang out everywhere. There's one. Oh, he went behind there. There's one on this leaf. Right here. Look at his little cute eyes. He's so cute. Hi, little buddy. And then there's one right on the top of this leaf. Right there. There's a little guy on the move. Let's see if you can see his teeth. Because that's the best part. These are nerites. Let me see if I'll turn my light on. And nerites are the ones that clean the tough algae. Come on, buddy. You can show your face. Come on. You can do it. Sometimes it helps put my finger there to get it to focus on their little selves. There we go. So pretty. He's like, I'm not showing my face. Look at that guy. He's a beauty. Look at his little front feet. Their front feet never stop because they're plotting all of our demises. That's how they plot. There he goes. Oh, there's a pretty one too. It's plotting, plotting, plotting. It's all they do. It's all they do is plot against us. Shrimp are plotters. They meet on the coconut shell and plan what they'll do to take over the world. So cute. Everybody should have a million shrimp in their tank. Literally, those little bushes are just full of them. And at random, you'll be like, oh, there goes, oh, there's one. Oh, there's one. They're just everywhere. <laughs> oh, my God, I love them. You guys, they're so good.